Let's do addition of polynomial. Addition of polynomial. Now, for a polynomial, if I ask you to solve, or if I ask you what is 2 plus 3, what are you going to say? Now, it's obvious you will say 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, if I add S at the back, what will you say? 2S plus 3S. So, is this is similar to the way you add 2 plus 3. So, this will be 5 also, but you now put X. So, 2S plus 3S will give you 5X. 2S square plus 3s square we give you 5s square so 2s square plus 3s square will give you 5s square but 2x plus 3s square you can't add it together why the power on s here is 1 and the power on s here is 2 if they have different power you can't add it together you can only add it if they have the same powers. Now, if I ask you, what is 4s raised to power 3 plus 5s raised to power 2? So, what will be your answer? You can't add it together because the power here is 3 and the power here is 2. You cannot add it together. But if it is 4s raised to power 3 plus 5s raised to power 3, since they both have the same power so you are free to add so this will give us 9 this will give us 9x raised to power 3 it's just like saying 4 plus 5 so that will be 9 so that is how you can add a polynomial the same thing happened to minus so if i have 3x square minus 1x square since they both have the same x square i can subtract so 3 minus 1 will give me 2s square. Now let's see example here. If p is equal to 2s raised power 3 plus 3s raised to power 2 minus a plus s plus 1. And q is equal to s raised to power 4 plus 3s plus 2 so now find p plus q 1 2 2 p plus q so now to solve this question so given p is this and q is this so what is p plus q so now p plus q means write all this p so write everything that is 2 s raised power 3 plus 3 s raised power 2 plus s plus 1 now plus q so write the q also so that will be s raised to power 4 plus 3 s plus 2 so that means p plus q is equals to 2s raised power 3 plus 3s raised power 2 plus s plus 1 then plus now this plus if you open bracket here yeah, everything is still plus plus s raised power 4 plus 3s plus 2 so that is p plus q that is we bring this p and this q together so we add it so you can see here p plus q this is p plus then this is q add it together so i now remove the brackets because if this plus you open bracket here everything remain the same remember plus times plus is equals to plus plus times minus is equals to minus minus times plus is equals to minus minus times minus is equals to plus if you want to cram this then the same sign will give you plus minus minus will give you plus but different sign will give you minus so take note now to continue with this so p plus q after you combine together 
Your aim now is to bring the same powers together. But Jam usually arrange it according to the power that is from highest to lowest or lowest to highest. So the highest power here is 4. Do you have any power 4 here? This one is power 3, power 2. So I don't have any other power 4. So that means I will write S raised to power 4. Because I can't add this power 4 to any power here because they are not the same. So write S raised to power 4. So followed by S raised to power 3. Do you have any S raised to power 3 here? Yeah? No. So that means I'm writing plus 2 S raised to power 3. Followed by S square. Do you have S square? No. So that will be 3 S raised to power 2. Now remember, if this S stand alone, then it's power 1. This is also power 1. Now I have 2 power 1 here. Yeah, I can add it together. So 1 S raised to power 1 plus 3 S raised to power 1. That is 4 X raised to power 1. So the last one to add is 1 plus 2. So that will give you 3. So and this is the answer. So we'll move on.